Hey guys, this is Galen at ECU Master USA, and today we're going to talk about our 5 bar map sensor. With each of our sensor kits, you're going to get the sensor that you ordered, the connector, seals, terminals, and thread sealant. And you'll also find on the front of each package the QR code that'll link you directly to any pertinent sensor information you might need. The first thing you'll notice on the back of this package is that the pinout for the sensors is actually the same. Pin 1 being your sensor ground, pin 2 the 5 volt supply to the sensor, and pin 3 is the sensor signal that goes to the analog input of your EMU. Next, the tools we're going to use for this are a pair of flush cuts, wire strippers, and a high quality crimp frame designed for the terminals you're working with. There's going to be a link in the description for all of these tools so you can use exactly the same stuff we're using. Let's start by taking our flush cuts and derailing the terminals from the metal strip that they're attached to. I'm going to take the flush side towards the terminal, snip, and repeat. Now we include an extra in all of these kits in case a, a mistake happens, and trust me, they happen. So hopefully we'll only need these three that I'm using right now. For the wire color, we use blue for our 5 volt reference. We're going to use white for sensor signal that goes to the analog input of the EMU. And then we're going to use black for sensor ground. So before we strip these wires, we're going to take the weather seals and put the wires through so that we don't have copper strands stabbing us in the fingers as we work later. This prevents fraying at the end of the copper. And also make sure that you do it before you terminate the wire into the terminal itself. It is a real pain in the neck to have to redo stuff after uh, you've already crimped the terminal onto the wire. Next, we're gonna grab our strip tool. And I want to show you guys the strip length here is set to the minimum value on the stripper uh, to allow for consistent exposed copper at the end of each of these wires. Let's take our crimp frame and load a terminal in and get it ready to crimp and deconductor into. You'll notice that this crimp frame has an automatic positioner here with a gate that's spring-loaded. So as you insert the terminal, you push on the gate, opens the gate, closes on the terminal, and now it's positively located inside of the crimp frame so it can't rotate around or give you any funny business as you go to crimp this on. We're going to slide the conductor all the way forward, leaving the copper exposed. We're going to insert and then crimp slowly. There you go, successfully terminated a uh, wire into this GT150. Let's take our package and look at the back side for our sensor pinout. So we'll start with position one, which is our sensor ground. That is this hole here. Insert the terminal in until it clicks. Nice positive location there. Next, we'll go to pin assignment two, which is our five volt supply to the sensor. And again, and last but not least is our sensor output, sensor signal. That goes to the analog input of our EMU device. So now that you have these clipped in and they're locked, you're gonna take this gray tab and press it till it closes and now the tabs cannot come up. And that's how you wire the three position sensor. So now that we have our five bar map sensor wired into our EMU Black, let's go into our EMU Black client software and set our software up so that it operates properly with that new sensor. First thing we're gonna change is the units. We're gonna go into configuration and we're gonna switch this from Imperial to metric. Our sensors are sold with metric readings on them. So we're going to calibrate the sensor in the metric scale to keep it one-to-one -one in the configuration. So now we'll go into sensor setup. We'll go into the map and barrel window, go into parameters and deselect use built-in map. Next, we're going to go into map calibration and we're going to right click over the voltage value here to open up our X axis bins wizard. 
You can look at the back of the package to see the minimum value of 0.5 volts. And next you're gonna go to the maximum value and enter in 4.5 volts. And make sure that the interpolation type is set to linear interpolation. So now that this is correct here at the bottom for our voltage, we're gonna go and enter the values of the sensor, zero at the minimum at a half volt, and then 500 kPa or kilopascal for the five bar sensor. You're gonna highlight and interpolate horizontally. And now you have a linear scale from zero to 500 kPa over a half volt to four and a half volts. Now that that's correct, you're gonna to go to make permanent here to write the configuration onto your EMU black. And now that we have this set up to work for your EMU black, we're gonna go and verify that the sensor is working. So now that we've finished the calibration for our five bar map sensor, we're gonna make sure that we're connected to the device. You'll see here that this is indicated by this green icon that says connected and is also highlighted in bright green. Move this out of the way. We're gonna go on the left side and open our log, pop open the graph log and our analog inputs which show the analog voltage. As the sensor goes live, you'll see that the map value may change and you will see that the voltage changes as well. Here in Dallas, this is what we're seeing as our atmospheric pressure at about 98 kPa over 1.29 volts. Depending on where you are in the country, this is gonna vary based on altitude and air density. Now that, now that now that you finish setting up the sensor, refer to the first start checklist to finish setting up the device for your project. Thanks for watching. See you next time.